miserable day today absolutely horrific out there um, and it's days like this that are probably the hardest to get out and actually do some some exposure therapy because it's amazing how when you feel a bit uncomfortable about doing something due to anxiety you'll make all kinds of excuses not to do it like oh the weather's a bit bad or um this that the other you know maybe uh oh no my, my leg hurts a bit something absolutely ridiculous you know people will say all sorts just to get out of pushing past their anxious moments and I mean, I'm definitely guilty of that. I think anyone who deals with sort of uh, anxiety normally is. But yeah, gonna hit up the shop today and just see how it goes. So here at um, Outside Morrison's, the supermarket of choice, which I seem to drive to every day, is a 10 minute drive from my house exactly by Google Maps, which is the best friend of any agoraphobic. Um, so I'm here. It's a miserable day, and I can feel the nerves, but it doesn't feel as bad. I mean, I've only really been, I've decided very recently, sort of in the past few days, that driving uh, to the same spot every single day would be a good idea. And now here I am doing it. And it must be said that um, it, it is easier already, just three days in, four days in, it's amazing how much easier it is. Um, and it really is, I mean, it's, it's not nice. I'm not looking forward to going out there and thinking, oh, what if I have a panic attack in front of everyone? What if this, what if that? Catastrophizing. Yeah, I've got a bit of a tight chest right now. Yeah, I need the toilet. Yeah, all those things that are coming with anxiety. But I think just because I've done it before and it hasn't killed me, my brain, even though the worst thing in the world is feeling so uncomfortable, my brain is now thinking, well, it didn't kill you. And let's be honest, that's what anxiety is. It's, it's your brain telling you that you're in massive amounts of danger when actually, you're in no danger at all. So, it's time to go in there, see what I can do, see how far I get. Let's do it, let's just see how far I can go. Um, I need to get some milk today. Pretty stocked up on sparkling water right now, so uh, it's the more exciting produce. I'm after the milk. So yeah, I'll be back and we'll see how it went. There it is, the goods. Managed to do it. Um, yeah, I wish I could film in there, but I just think it'd be a bit weird. Um, so, that's me sorted. Got that done. Easier, it gets easier every time, it's weird. I know you have little blips and stuff, uh, and it's easy to fall off. Uh, with, uh, you know, what is basically training. <laughs> it's like anything that's good for you. You know, anything that's good for you is difficult, isn't it? Going to the gym, eating healthily. Um, yeah. School, education, learning something new, learning a new language. And this is just like that. It's so easy to fall off if you don't keep it up. But it's... Um, yeah, it's doable. Um, I'm getting there. It definitely gets easier every time. When I was in there, uh, I just controlled my breathing, you know? If I ever thought, oh, I feel a bit uh, weird, just control my breathing, it's fine. And it's amazing how much I really enjoy the freedom once I'm in there, because of course it's something that, just turn those off, it's something that you haven't had for so long and you want so badly, and then when you're actually doing it and don't feel much anxiety at all, uh, and you know it's through your own efforts, it does feel amazing, so getting there, it's a slow process, but that's another day of exposure every done. Um, just another little thing, every time I'm out there, I always find it so helpful to just smile at someone, to just start up a conversation with someone, something like that. It just puts me at ease straight away. Again, it's what I said in the last video, it's like that, that knowledge that people aren't evil, people aren't nasty, they're not out to get you, they're not gonna try and put you down, people are generally quite a nice you know there's a good community about pretty much wherever you go um yeah you can find a community anywhere and it's, it's yeah it's lovely just to walk around in in a supermarket and you know talk to someone about something i started a conversation with a guy who just parked next to me before about his car he's got a little mazda mx5 and i've always wanted one so i just asked him you know how do they drive it's things like that and it's amazing how grateful people are like oh someone's having a conversation with great you know they love it they love it because 
I don't know, I can't remember the last time someone just randomly started a conversation with me about something. Uh, just out of the blue, so... Yeah, it's a good thing to do. Anyway, that's it. Another one done.